What is going on, you guys? We're back with another episode, TB4Y Podcast. Hello, What's going hello, on? What's going hello. on? Dude, oh my God, brother. We're going to get into it. There's so much shit that has been happening, bro. We talked about this, I think, last year. We said it two, three episodes ago, and we were spot the fuck on. For everybody who watches our shit, we said 2024 was going to be the year of exposing, bro. Who else got exposed? Oh my God. Who else? Bro, it's not even just who else. It's just new things keep coming out about some of the people we've already kind of been hearing things about year for years, but most of this type of shit is confirmed for some of these people. Did you see all of the allegations going on about Diddy? Let me not even say allegations anymore. I seen the shit that um like one of the dudes that he wore, that worked for him or something like that, right? Came out yeah. and pretty much like filed a I think a lawsuit or something like that against him. Shh. I'm not too sure about all the legal stuff, but only thing I know is is what them documents said about Diddy is insane. Oh, yeah, he's done and, so. and a lot of people throughout the years already said Diddy's did crazy shit. Like I wasn't too sure about the shit where they said um he blew up Kid Cudi's car, what? apparently. You didn't hear about that? I never heard about that. You never heard about like, this? Like exploded. Like he put something on the bottom of Kid Cudi's car. Cause I look, this is what I heard Ack and a bunch academics and a bunch of other people were talking about it, and there's actual documents talking about this situation a car bomb he put a car bomb on kid cuddy's car bro and it blew up what that's what people were saying yeah or he hired somebody to do it bro's dinner like Pablo Escobar. bro i'm telling you he's like a super villain bro and i apparently he would also do a lot of these weird things to blackmail other people that he was working mm. with, where i am not too sure but i heard that he would have cameras in his house and or record situations with some of these people doing acts that people wouldn't expect them to do mm. in his home ah uh, dude there's just so much and wait what are you about to say i was like what are the some of the crazy shit okay, that I'm, got I'm, caught up for? i'm gonna get into it so do you know one of the city girls young miami um no but i, I yeah. but you know yeah, who yeah, they yeah, are yeah. i know the city girls are yeah okay one of the city girls, her name is Young Miami. She's the one who's dating Diddy. I don't know if you've seen that she was dating Diddy. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. You know who she is. Her ass, apparently, bruh, everybody over here calling her because her name is Carisha. People are calling her Carisha Maxwell. <laughs> the reason why they're calling her Carisha Maxwell is because do you know the name of Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend? No. Nah. Her name was Jesse, J Jeline or J Jesseline Maxwell. So basically, they're trying to say, because everybody's like, bro, Diddy is oh, the Epstein yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, of the rap yeah, industry, yeah, 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 yeah. because there is a bunch of weird documents that are like talking about him doing stuff with children, and there's even what? weird videos, bro, that came out recently of, there was this live he did like years ago, bro, I think it was like two years ago or last year, where he had like this white girl, this little white girl, it was like 10 years old, she was on the live, she was like, hey, um... Something, something. Like, bro, like, I know you're already shook, What right? the hell? And Diddy's like, hey, what's going on, y'all? You know, this is my daughter. You know, uh, uh, uh man, well, not legally, but, you know, we we working on it. Uh, uh She's one of the kids I adopted. Uh, You know, tell them about it. And she's like, yeah. uh, Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. If I show you the video, bro, you're going to be like, okay, bro. She said some very questionable things that made it sound weird, bro. Like, ah, uh, man, I can't even really remember exactly what yeah. the little girl says. But all I'll say is this. Diddy says... You gonna have to run that back, pretty much, because that sounds very weird against <laughs> me. He says that on the live, pretty much what tells her to say it again. Like, ah, uh, you know, that kind of sounds crazy. Diddy shouldn't be anywhere near any ten year old kid. I'm telling you, bro. I'm already knowing because apparently, bro, he even there's there's a lot of okay in the documents. This is what it's talking about. They talk about they mention, and I I don't know if I told you this the other day. In these documents, it's it's detailing things that he was doing with other rappers and artists and. It was pretty much saying that, like, and this is one of the, you know, the words on the document. It pretty much says this Philadelphia artist who dated Nicki Minaj. Yeah, I see, I, I seen that, <laughs> yeah. And I also seen they said something about uh, someone who performed the Super Bowl, too. And had a crazy, like, Las Vegas show or something like that in, like, the last couple months. So I was like, that's Usher. I was like, what are y'all doing? And then on top of that, let's be real. The evidence, right? With him and Meek Mill specifically? Dude, 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 dude. Everybody's calling him Freak Mill right now, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I see. That's why. That's so right, right, right. I'm not going to lie to you. Hey, some of my favorite spinoffs is Freak Mill and Spready Gibbs. Spready <laughs> Gibbs is crazy. No, it's so insane. <laughs> 
Spready Gibbs is hella funny, bro. He was wild for that one. I'm gonna go cap to you. He's wild for that one. He is wild. He is wild, bro. <laughs> like, bro, like one of my homies was trying to show me the picture hella bad. Like, bro, you gotta see it. I'm like, dude, I don't want to fucking see that shit. You crazy? What the fuck? Like, bro, I do not want to see another grown man's bro. asshole, dude. <laughs> Let alone like someone I listen to on the regular. It's like, bro, I definitely don't want to see Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> PR, keep it a buck. Ever since he became Spready Gibbs, have you? <laughs> I can't listen to a full song the same after after hearing Spready. After seeing, after hearing about what he did, bro, like it's crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sorry. I try to separate the artist from the music. You know what I'm saying? Because. <laughs> Cause yeah, that's actually crazy. But Diddy is bugging. <laughs> no, he actually is. But hold on, hold on. Yeah, let me get back to it though. Uh, yeah, with them, it's very weird because there's a lot of like kind of evidence, or I'll say a trail a leading yeah. to what we see now. Because even when Usher was like a young kid, bro, he got signed under Diddy. Mm, really? I didn't even know that. Right yeah, or, or I think he worked with Diddy for like a, a cool minute because he basically said like. He like was living with Diddy at one point in time, bro, for a cool minute. He was like, Yeah, and Diddy had a lot of crazy shit going on. Like Usher was kind of even saying it, bro. And then Meek Mill also, it was a very weird thing, dude. Like, ah, I'm gonna be real, bro. Look, it's deeper than just him being gay. Let's be so real, bro. There's yeah. so much of these crazier allegations of like the crime, whatever we do. I'm just getting into the other shit because what I personally think is hilarious. Is whenever it's somebody who's like a street nigga or I mean, I'm in a gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's like, it comes out. It, it, you're doing all this sweet shit. Yeah, I'm yeah, being real. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, you were fighting so hard. You were tooth fighting tooth and nail, nail nigga. Like, to, to defend yourself. Like, Meek Mill has to be a true idiot, bro. I'm going to be real with you. He jumped on Twitter and did everything but defend himself about, or I mean, but address the allegation. Weirdo. I'm gonna be sober. He pretty much was just like, yes, bro. Like, yeah, you know, bro. Like, yeah, y'all yeah. <laughs> <Y> bugging. <laughs> Let's just be, just say it then. Just be like, look, bro. I don't got nothing against nobody in that community, but look, I'm not a part of that community. Yeah. He could have said something like that. That's it. And if people still didn't believe you, it's like, all right, whatever, bro. I can't make y'all happy. I, I left it all out there on the table. Yeah. But this nigga instead goes and does a whole rant all day mike this gotta be the gayest shit i'm gonna be real for any guy out there i'm being real for any guy out there if you're trying to prove that you're straight don't talk about how much you love having sex with women that's the most gayest thing you can do on earth is to start going like this like somebody that's like hey bro what's up with that picture i seen of you bro you was making out with uh all right well i fucked on that one model that one time i went on a date with Nicki minaj i dated Nicki minaj for most weeks y'all forgot about that one huh uh, let's see. Uh, and she loved having sex with me. Nah, ask her. I'm <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> like, bro, we didn't ask all this shit. Like, we didn't ask like, for your track like, record. Like, we're like, you're not far off. He literally does that. He goes like this on Twitter. He's like, bro, all you weird cornball ass niggas, bro. Everybody telling me that I didn't do that. I'm, I'm gay, bro. For me. <laughs> bro, I'll tell y'all right now, bro. I don't got no problem with that community, but I love pussy way too much, bro. <laughs> like literally, bro. I need it two times a day, and I get it two times yeah, a day, bro. <laughs> I get it two times a day, bro. He said, bro. He goes even as far as to start talking about. He said, bro. And even when a girl got her period, bro, I don't stop at red lights, bro. I don't do 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 do, do bro. Why yeah, are he's you going to? He's doing too extra, bro. You do not need to do all that to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Right, and then like I don't even know about the whole. I even, but that makes sense. Pussy. But that makes sense because like the whole Justin Bieber shit. Let's get into it. I was just gonna even say, there's a video that came out recently too. He he said he was like, yeah, you dance Diddy. He's like, he's with Justin Bieber. Mind you, Justin Bieber, this is like little baby kid, Justin yeah. Bieber. You know, baby mm -hmm. that Justin Bieber still. He still had a little swoop. Yeah, all that. He's standing there, bro. He damn it, look traumatized little niggas just standing there like scared as hell. Scared as well. Diddy's just like, yeah, what's going on? You know, we got JB over here with me, and, uh, you know, we had, uh, we it's basically Cam Diddy. And he was basically saying that Justin Bieber was staying with him for a period of time. Yeah. And then, this was so weird. Why do you tell a 12-year-old to 13-year-old kid this? He goes, hey, Justin, you know, what's going on? He, he hasn't seen him in a while. I guess it was, this was after the camp. Mm. What's going on? Like, I've been contacting you, man. Why are you not trying to get a hold of me? That's hella weird. And Justin Bieber, look, he's a little kid. He looks hella like uncomfortable. He's like, oh, you've been contacting me? I didn't even know, man. Um, yeah, uh, just you give me your phone number again and then 
he, bro, he sounds hella scared. Like, bro, you're a grown ass man. Like, what I'll the fuck are you trying to talk to me so man. much for, bro? Like, what are you talking 16, about? 16, like, 17 year old kid. You know what I'm saying? And I know the minute JB turned 18, that, that nigga, uh, 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 that nigga said, he said, Usher, Usher. He said, Yo, Ush, <laughs> Yo, Ush. <laughs> hey, get me in contact with JB. We got a party. Uh, and what everybody say, Mike? They said, When Usher asks you to party, you gotta tell him no. And did he? I mean, Diddy, my bad. Yeah, when yeah. Diddy asks you to party, you got to tell him no. You guys say, nah, I can't, dude. That's what everybody says. Why is that a thing, bro? Mike, let's say every, you started hearing around town, bro. You started hearing around. Everybody go <laughs> like this. Bro, Mike tell you to party, bro? Nigga, you got to tell Mike no, bro. Yeah, I must be doing some weird shit then. Because, like, why wouldn't you want to party with... You feel me? Like, he's had a lot of questionable things that he said, bro. Like, he'll sit there and go like this. Yeah, bro. Like, I forgot who it was. I think it was... um. What's the artist's name? Fabulous? Is that his name? Mm -hmm. Fabulous. This nigga, he goes, he, he he was like talking to him or something like that about something. And then randomly, he's like with a bunch of other dudes. He tells just him. That's like us. We're all hanging out with like hella the homies. And I go like this. We're all talking about something. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you dumb as suck, bro. Hey, no, no, no. I'm already done. I'm already done. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but uh, Mike, bro, uh, how long you in town for? Shit, probably like just the weekend. Just the weekend? Yeah. Okay, I'm already done. I'm already done. Hey, bro, I'm not even going to lie, bro, because nigga... Me and you, bro, we never party, bro. We got to turn up. Why does he want to party with everyone so damn bad? No, bro. I mean, because we know what happens when he parties, <laughs> apparently, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And can I be so real? This was the video that actually made me go. There's two instances of him doing this. The cover up is that niggas in back in the day in, in New York used to say this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Somebody tell me if you were in fucking New York in the 80s. Let me know if niggas are walking around saying this, bro. Did he? Is constantly walking around, bro, calling other grown men, daddy. Yeah. There's I've seen video. videos of him calling Meek Mill. Meek Mill's in the pool, leaned over like somebody's girlfriend. Like he's leaned <laughs> over, bro. And then he's sitting there, right? This nigga Diddy comes up to me, he's like, yeah, you put in that work. I like how you do it like this, daddy. I like how you do it like this, daddy. I was like, bro, what? And I've seen pictures of like him and Meek Mill like matching, like wearing matching outfits and shit. Mike. Apparently, like Diddy be taking like these motherfuckers shopping hell and shit. 50 Cent. Yeah. He asked 50 Cent to take him shopping. 50 Cent said, hell no. Mike, tripping? be so real, bro. If another grown man offers to take you shopping, not like, hey, bro, here 50 bands. Yeah. Nigga, come with me. I'm taking you to the store. I'm going to take you to the store, and you're going to walk around and pick out everything you want. Like, I want this one. I want that one. Yeah. I don't and then Diddy's just sitting there scanning his card. Yeah, no, I can't do it. It's different if I like I'm already at the store and I'm like, this jacket is dope. And then and then Diddy's like, I'll buy you it if you want that jacket. Then I'll probably be like, all right, for sure, I'll take I'll take a jacket if you're gonna buy it for me. Yeah. But I think it's different if he's like, let's go. We're going to the store just so I can take you on a shopping spree. Oh God, like what the fuck is this? <laughs> like what is happening between us, bro? bro like, that's insane. You know what I mean? Like, bro, that, that's very like I'm not your girl, bro. Yeah. Like, what do you mean take me shopping, nigga? Wild. What's up? Yeah, why would you want to take another man shopping? You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know, bro. He has a lot of weird stuff that's coming out right now about Fucking him, bro. Digital, and man. I'm not even going to get into too much of the criminal shit because I'm not too sure. And I don't want to talk about it because, you I know, heard, nigga, I, go ahead. What did I, you I just heard he had a lot of, like, shit where he was doing a lot of weird shit with, like, girls. Yes. Like, abusing them. Yes. You know, physically. Apparently, sexually. too. Apparently, too. I heard that Diddy would, this is what I heard. Diddy would request some of the girls, like, Cassie and some mm -hmm. other girls, if they were going to, like be fucking on a dude he would request them to find a guy with a big dick oh. so he could watch what yeah they said diddy likes to watch people have sex especially wow. especially men what the f that is so crazy bro it really makes me wonder like who else what was he doing like in the 90s when he was oh, really dude. on top of the world dude and i'm talking about especially the fact the internet wasn't as prevalent he had biggie and he had all these other you know what i'm saying like yeah. bro he was on top of the world he probably had so much people like how much you want a record deal yeah how bad do you? How bad do you want to fucking record it, dude? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And why is it that all these crazy guys yeah. who are at the top of these companies, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Diddy, Suge Knight, fucking Man. Birdman. Man. Epstein. Yeah. Uh uh Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Yeah. It's like, why are all these guys so Walt Disney? Yeah. Why are all these guys so freaking weird, bro? I don't know. I like, mean, it's like a power thing i think bro speaking of walt disney i don't know if you ever heard about this back in the day bro apparently disney they did this like documentary series called white wilderness have you ever yeah, heard about this i've never heard of that what the fuck bro so this this documentary won like awards i got like an academy award all this stuff right yeah people thought it was a regular documentary right they're talking about like these little animals called lemmings 
Lemmings? Yeah, lemmings. Like these little, these little, like these little, like hamster, like a, hamster looking creatures, right? It's and, real. Yeah, it's real. And it's a normal documentary at first. Hmm. A couple years after, they find out some really dark shit about the documentary. So in the documentary, there's a part where they show these lemmings on this, like the edge of this cliff, and they're pretty much jumping off this cliff, like killing themselves. Really? Yes. And in the documentary, they say that because they overpopulize, like because there's so much population of these lemmings here that keep on like having more babies yeah. that some of them just jump off of cliffs and kill themselves and like try to get into the water and eventually just swim out into the ocean and drown and die right what the fuck that's what they were saying in this documentary yeah. and for the longest time everyone believed that that's that's what lemmings do they yeah. just they just be killing themselves yeah but it turns out that the people who were making this documentary yeah loaded up a truck full of lemmings yeah backed it up onto this cliff and was forcing all these lemmings to jump off of the cliff for the documentary. What? Yes. For the documentary. For the, you could watch the documentary on YouTube. It's on YouTube. You watch the documentary, you can see these lemmings falling off the cliff. And if you look at it with the knowledge, knowing that they're pushing them off, bro, you see the lemmings trying to grab onto the cliffs. Like, they really don't want to fall off. And they're, like, slowly getting pushed off. You just don't see them. You just see them falling off of it. Yeah, you don't see the, the You don't push. see the what's behind them making them fall off of the cliff. What the fuck? Yes, and for the longest time, people just thought that lemmings killed themselves. But Disney was literally just lying and just did that for the documentary for some fucking reason. What the fuck? I okay, so uh, let's get into it, bro. How many documentaries do you think where they're like this? Nigga, we're not trying to be out here for months. Man, we got to get some Let's action. Let's go and fucking somebody shoot that gazelle a little bit, bro. So that nigga's injured enough where we can show mm -hmm. this lion eating it. Mm -hmm. He's been chasing it for let's two days. Let's grab that penguin, take him hella far away from where he lives, where yeah. these seals are at, and let's just say, oh, this little penguin yeah. wandered around. He wandered around <laughs> and found himself in, in seal the territory. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that happened so much now that I found out about this, bro. Oh Insane. God. So you think a lot of it is set up first? I think because I think let's so be real. Because I always some of them wondered. No, no, no. Because let's be so honest. You would ever you ever watch certain documentaries like about animals, like animal documentaries, mm -hmm. whatever I would do, and you'll watch this motherfucker like Planet Earth or whatever the hell, like any of the ones on Disney Plus and shit. Yeah, and you'll be like, this shot is insane. Dude. How did they manage to get like, the shot? How did you find the craziest like fight that to ever happen? It's yeah, like God. you found a, a fight between an alligator. A lion, no, an alligator, a tiger, and a hippo. Yeah, how did you get that? How did you get that footage? And it's like, no, 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 nigga, you nigga scared the hippo with your car to go close over there. <laughs> then it wanted to go in the water. Then the the, the wood car tried to attack it when and the wood car was already following it. Yep. The tiger. So y'all set this up and knew there was gonna be a three way battle out of this motherfucker. Y'all was like, nigga, like set that. the cameras up. I think it has to be something like that, bro. You gotta be poking the bears for first. You know what I mean, bro? To they, get what you want, bro. They was already doing this shit back in the day. That's what I'm saying. So I know they're ramping it bro. up to the next, bro. We, th that's so crazy. I don't believe so much shit now, dude. Bro, Cause you never know. And this is like in the '80s. Yeah. Back back in the days, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro. Especially the fact of that we can get away with way more shit nowadays, man. I think. Well, ah, I th that's what's interesting. It's kind of half and half. It's like. You can get away with more shit, but you kind of can't. Yeah. Because, like, cameras and whatever fuck would do it, you know what I mean? Mm hmm But I don't know. Bro, it's so fucking wild. Like, what? I wonder. I really wonder what made them want to do something. Want to like do that. it. That's what I'm saying. I think it's just really for the, like, maybe shock factor to so. add, you know, to the documentary. I do, I do remember seeing the clip of the, the little guys falling off yeah, the cliff yeah, and just yeah. thinking that's what it was. That's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. I remember I seen this video that kind of seems very similar the way they shot it, I think, the way you're describing it. It was a bunch of seals falling off this cliff. I mean, not seals, uh, walruses mm, falling off this that. cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason they were falling off the cliff was because there was a bear at the top of it trying to kill these. I monkeys. remember that, yeah. And it was basically forcing all them to jump off, and it was like, nigga, yeah. fuck it, bro. And a lot, it was hell of their dead bodies down on the That's down crazy. below, but crazy as hell, yeah. Like you see some of their teeth cracked and shit, you know. Imagine how like rotten that's gonna end up. Oh, dude, you know what dude, I'm dude, dude, dude. no, and it, it it was insane because it was literally like the whole world came out to eat those things. It was like maggots, bugs, fucking creatures in the ocean. Damn, it was coming out and taking quick bites, nigga, <laughs> and go back in. Like everything was coming over there. Yeah, that's crazy. you know there was like nine bears over there too eating them. That all came through. It was like, oh yeah, nigga, we got. Full course Shout meal. out to Todd. Yeah. <laughs> he done let all the fucking seals down down no, here. I'll tell you. And you got to think about it. I didn't even think about that. All of those little fucking, what are those things Lemmings. called? Lemmings. Lemmings, the nigga that fell into the water or the, the edge of that yeah. cliff or whatever the fuck, bro. Nigga, dude, that was an ultimate snack oh, for yeah, whatever for sure. the fuck things were down for there. For sure. 
crazy. Little fucking Cheeto puffs. Yeah, bro. Just little poppers. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Throw me on mouth type shit. <laughs> Bunch of jalapeno poppers. They're just eating them. You know what I mean? How big were those things? Like, how the big lemmings? They're kind yeah. of small. They're little, like what? Little, Show me, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Let me see what a lemming is. I, I have no idea. They're little. They look like little guys, bro. Mm. Let me see. See, look. I told you. Look. They're like cute little gerbil guys. Oh, shit. And they're throwing these motherfuckers off cliffs. Oh, my God. Crazy. Wow. So wild. Like, I don't know what, what you know. Possessed what, them to do this. Yeah. Like, what made them think, like, all right, we're doing a documentary about lemmings. You know, they're pretty fucking boring, dude. Like, I think what they lemmings wanted, do? Yeah, they wanted to spice it up. They were, like, they were like, you know what we should do? We should start some lore that lemmings actually <laughs> they kill themselves. They're suicidal. <laughs> yeah, I think and so. And they were just like, you're so fucking crazy. It might work. Bruh. And then they were just down. I swear, bruh. You know? Dude, speaking of crazy people, bruh, mm. I just wanted to start. I wanted to tell you. This dude is absolutely insane, bro. Yeah. This happened back like in the early 80s. This dude named Alex Mangle. Yeah. At first, he gets he gets stopped by like a police, like a normal like stop, right? He ends up killing that police officer that stops him. Whoa. I think he like shoots him or stab him or something. I'm not entirely for sure. Yeah. Now he's on the run. And it's late at night, bro. This is in New York City. There's this lady. She's like 44-year-old lady. She gets out of work hella late. She's walking to her car. Where she's parked her car is like super dark. There's no lights at all. Yeah. This dude, Alex, ends up kidnapping her. Kidnaps her, bro. He murders her. And then he skins her face off and her scalp. No, Mike. Steals her car. Steals her ID. Mike, heads to the no ca- fucking way. Heads to the Canadian border. Mike. He puts on her face Mike. like a mask. Mike. And tries to cross the border. He leather faced it. He leather faced it, bro. You're kidding me. I swear, bro. And he p- wait, wait. He puts on he her puts face on like her a mask. Face like a mask. Heads to the to the border. Yeah. To go to Canada. Immediately they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you? You know what I'm saying? As soon as they see him, they're like, yo, you look insane. <laughs> they get him, they arrest him. While he's handcuffed, he tries to steal one of the, the border patrol's guns and they instantly just start shooting him. They kill him. They light All, him up. They light him up on the site. Oh. And he ends God. up dead. Wait, when they lit him up, did they already like? Did they already? Take I think they already took. I already. Did, I think they already took all that stuff off his face and stuff. Yeah, but he was trying to go into Canada as, as that lady. Her. Yes, dude, that got to be the dumbest fucking idea I've ass. heard in my life. And the crazy thing about it, this dude is damn near the inspiration for Silence of the Lambs, though. Really? They mention him by name in the book. Are you serious? In the book, Silence of the Lambs, the original yeah. book, they mention this guy by name. Oh. Because apparently God. they're saying like. He was like a copycat killer of, you know, the dude from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Like in the story uh. shit. But it's crazy how like that dude inspired like one of the most like iconic, iconic movie yeah, characters. Yeah, I was going to say, what the fuck, bro? That is some crazy shit. Why? You cut somebody's face off and wore it? Yeah. And apparently they, a lot of them, they think that he, the, those two people that he killed weren't the first two people he killed. Oh, because no. Because when they surely. found him, he had pictures of like little girls on him. Mm. And some of those girls were missing. Oh my god! And dude. they never found out who some of those girls were. I always wonder, like that wasn't his first time cutting somebody's face for off, sure. Bro. They called so him real. like this, like a, the scalper or something like that because he did that. But it's like I'm pretty sure if he was able to cut it clean off, that's what I'm enough for him say, to wear bro. it. Yeah, bro, that's, dude, he was on some. He was on shit, some bro. weird shit, bro. Like nigga, that really that's crazy. That you're saying Silence of the Lambs, like that's so like, bro. Leatherface coat. Yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah. He literally wore someone else's face Nigga. to try to cross the border. Like, how dumb do you think the border patrol is? I'm telling you, like, bro, I'm that not. They're not going to see, like, yeah. that is obviously not your face, oh, dude. God, it's all it's bloody and shit. And yeah. shit like that. Like, and can I be so real, bro? It just, it's such a crazy concept of, like, imagine the person who is related to her and they see a Bruh. picture of somebody in that motherfucking place that caught, bro, and somebody snapped a pic, bro. And I'm that's the picture that they use, nigga, for the newspapers and shit. Yeah. And they got this nigga wearing your girlfriend's face. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I forgot what Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre movie it was. Nigga, there was like this dude. This scene is still so haunting. It was like towards the end of the movie, I believe. Fucking, it was like the boyfriend who seemed like the main character in the movie mm-hmm. too. Everybody was so sick when this nigga died at the time. I'm a young nigga watching this movie. Bro, the nigga ends up getting killed. You don't even. I don't. I think they damn are off screen, bro. Damn. And then you just see the girl. You know, the final girl in the movie. She's like yelling out to her boyfriend. She sees his face. Ed Gein. He's Ed Gein, right? Basically, he's based off Ed. Based off. Well, I'll just say Ed Gein. He turns around at her, bro, and they made it so dramatic. He turns around at her, and he's He's wearing his boyfriend, the boyfriend's face. Oh my god! It looks so crazy because you see like his normal eyes under, and he looks all the crazy and shit. That's wild, bro. Imagine that. Imagine like you, you find the killer that you've been looking for. They kidnapped your girl, and then he turns around and he's he's like, "You got me." And he's wearing. He's like, "No." He says, 
you found me. That's crazy. As if he's your girlfriend. Yeah, that's And the crazy. nigga's wearing her face. That's so wild, bro. Like, what do you even do in a situation like that, I got you like, like, bruh. That must be the most haunted thing ever. Like, you see someone is wearing somebody else's face. No, like, Mike, what do you actually do in that situation? I'm running. I'm gonna just run. No, but I'm seeing the rage of... It's yeah. your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might crash out. Honestly, I'm dead ass. I I'm might crash, sure out. crash out. I might wear this nigga's face. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end up becoming him. Wow. Full circle because mm. it happened to his girl. Damn. We just made lore right now. We just made lore. <laughs> nah, but that is actually a but, fucking insane. Bro, I, I, I think you're right. If I seen someone like someone that I knew, yeah, like if a dude's wearing your face, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I would crash out. You gotta crash out. Yeah, I bro. think I'm gonna crash out, bro. For sure. You know what I mean? Like, ah, uh, but then again, it's like fuck. You know, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I see a nigga wearing, like, Mike Tyson face or some shit, I'm terrified. For the fuck oh, out yeah. of that nigga. I'm like, how did you, you get got, his face? You got his face. How did you get that nigga's face? <laughs> yeah. Like, he didn't let you get it. If a dude got Khabib's face on, <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna be so terrified of that, bro. Of that dude. I'm, I'm like, so yo. serious. I'm like, yo, nigga, you fought a bear and Khabib nigga <laughs> to get through. Like, what, <laughs> what the, the fuck? fuck? You know what I mean? That's insane, bro. War a nigga's face. I mean, a lady's face. Wow. Oh like God. I, I only like I only I only I can only imagine what was the border patrol's like reaction reaction when he pulled up in the car and he sees him like what the fuck is wrong with bruh and then he see he gets a good look at him and he's like yeah yo that is not his face and you got to think about like this is like in the eighties like I don't think yeah when when the Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out like in the seventies right seventy nine seventy eight or something yeah. like that so they were so like, it's like no he's like no way. way this dude's really Texas Chainsaw yeah. Massacre and it was popular at the, that's when for it sure. first came out too for it was sure. like the, the yes. movie came out like five years before yeah. this situation type shit probably he's, that nigga probably was like okay okay this guy's a funny guy yeah this, this he's is, pulling a prank on me this isn't real this is movie maker. Mm-hmm. He's probably thinking like this guy has a fucking role or something for a movie. Or then he got the, came seen from the ID, yeah, seen all this shit. And, and he was, actually was trying to get away with it. And he said, "Dude, his, the face he's wearing with the hair and everything looks very similar." Because he took the hair too. Yeah, he scalped her completely, so he took everything off her. He had a full on mask of this poor lady, and he ended up like dumping her body like in some river or something like that in New York. Bro, I, dude, imagine looking at what that looks like. It's like probably the like body. I'm talking about like you. you just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's just his skin face off around it's it, like all just mask. meat and just like their teeth and shit and yeah. their eyes are still there you know some people yeah, are so like, sick but it's like how do you even how do you how do you even think about shit like that i think it's like when you get enough people that believe something you start to believe it a little bit more if that makes any sense like i think this dude that was doing that shit probably seen other people do it before or maybe you know something made him feel like mm. it was okay because a lot of people if you notice bro it'd it be community you know what i mean that kind of makes people feel like things are okay i mean because think about it bro like if 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 more people let's say all over in the u.s everybody was like yeah bro it's cool to murder murder anybody yeah it'll be, it'll be a normal thing you know you cut me off on the thing, freeway i'm gonna yeah, fucking, fucking kill, kill you kill you. Yeah. you know what i mean and it's just like what happened you cut me off on the freeway all right well have a good day you know what i'm saying like the cops come through they're like this so you murdered him yeah why? You cut me off. So you didn't just murder him just to murder him? Nah, there was a reason. All right. And that's, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It feels it's more... like if more of us are cool with something, and that's why I think it's like, and it could be like homies too, because like some people like, notice all these stories we'll tell, bro, where it's like, you know, a group of friends will go and kill like their homegirl or some mm. shit like that, whatever. It's because it's one one or two guys you feel me? that inspire the rest the of The rest of them to want to do it. You know what I mean? Even like the, the Columbine shooters, like even when you interviewed yeah. the kids, one of them was like, you know, I really didn't want to do it type shit. Yeah. But the other guy was kind of like really, he was really, really, into it, really yeah. wanted, wanted to do. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I think that's what it is a lot. It's almost like uh, what's the word? It's 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 very cult like where mm. it's like you know you you almost brainwash this other person into your ideals mm. or what you believe. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but hey, speaking of cults, shit, dude, this has to be the strangest cult I've ever heard of in my life, Mike. There was this lady named Amy Carlson, and she was, I think about 20 something years old at the time of this you know when all this shit started mm. so she was like married uh, she had a kid stuff like that and she worked at a fast food restaurant randomly this lady decides i'm going to give up everything like i'm basically gonna abandon my whole family mm. everything my whole old life because she started talking to this one dude online and or i think she met him somewhere or some shit like that this dude they called him father god I don't know the guy's real name, but that's what I guess some of these people would call him really? later on. Yes. So this lady ends up leaving her whole family and everything and s- decides to basically start a cult with this guy, Father God. And when she starts this cult, 
they start calling her mother god hmm yeah which is super weird and pretty much like this dude pumped her head up with all this other weird shit telling her that like you have a divine like aura and you're not of this earth and you're meant for way more and the girl does working on the drive through shit. yeah it's exactly the bitch that served me fries yeah she is a fucking intergalactic princess right <laughs> right you know she's fucking leia right <laughs> yeah. so this dude is like pumping all this shit up and whatever she believes him she's like wow like i'm literally a goddess mm -hmm. so they start to build up this cult dude and it gets very weird bro apparently like when they had these people in here they would not they would like sometimes only let them sleep for like four hours a what? day sometimes two hours a day uh there was a bunch of other weird they had like a ranch or like a camp like where yeah they, would all yeah, stay they had like a place that they would all stay at and shit what they believed you're not even gonna believe this it's super weird they believed that there was these beings these intergalactic beings that they called the intergalactic federation of light really yes it's like and some scientology type shit pretty much bro yeah it's super fucking weird and what they believe is there are all these like beings out there who are led by robin williams wait 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 this uh, they think that the light yes are being led by robin by williams. the famous actor comedian <laughs> robin williams is that what you're saying is that what you're telling me right now? Yes, bro. The is this, triple threat is this, Robin Williams. Is yes. this a new, like, or just, was this before uh, he died or after he died? This was after he died, dude. So they think the spirit of Robin Williams Pretty is much. guiding all yes. these lights. Yes, and the craziest part is also is that they said the way that they found out it was Robin Williams is because Robin Williams' is spirit contacted her personally and only talks to her. And that's why she's the divine person who is all this stuff that bro was talking about. So she's able to tap in with Ryan. Uh, I said Ryan with Robin Williams and all of these other lights. Really? Yes, bro. Which is super weird. And what boys do you think Robin Williams uh, talked? Do you think he was a genie? <laughs> you think he was uh, Mrs. Doubtfire? Hey, no, nah, you're doing his luck. You're doing his luck. Honestly, bro, for her, I feel like. I feel like it probably would have been. It has to be the genie, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, too yeah, mystical. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You know what I mean? So she probably hears him as the genie. I wish if you talked to me was the scientist from Flubber. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That would actually be cool. That would be bro, cool. that is insane that they all believe that. Yeah, they all believe. So it. is there God, Robin Williams? It might be technically yes. It's Robin Williams, and he has no idea from the grave that these people are uh, building have, the thing. So a religion that worships Robin Williams? Yeah. Hold on, no, dude. no, 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 no. That might, that might not sound too too crazy. Uh, you're bugging. Hold on, bro. let's get into it. You're bugging. Okay, so what uh, did they get into? Like, why Robin Williams? I, they, there's no reason, dude. It's just her crazy ass fucking mind, bro. <laughs> She's probably like schizophrenic or some shit. That's bro. yeah, for to sure. be real, for bro. sure. And they all believe this shit. They're all going along with it. And this part, I was like, what the fuck? And this actually kind of ties into something we told in the early podcast episodes. Her like lackeys that are a part of the cult. Mm -hmm. They pretty much mix her up this drink that they're basically saying it's almost like God serum or something that she drinks. And pretty much what's in it is booze and this stuff called colloidal silver, dude. And I forgot what it's for, bro, but it's, nigga, we're not supposed to drink that yeah, shit. Yeah, obviously. It's poisonous, right? So she's like drinking this shit mixed with booze like every other day. And oh, and a part of the cult, they also couldn't smoke or drink, but apparently the lady amy she could she used to, she would always drink and smoke yeah all the time and that was a part of like her little drink or whatever and they would always give her that to the point where this shit made her skin blue dude what yeah she was blue at the end of her life so they were probably thinking like holy shit she like, really she is really is a yeah so she started turning blue bruh and towards the end of her life nigga she's blue what? and pretty much bro she ends up dying in that house with all these people they find her dead body they're like holy shit like she's gone mm -hmm. and these people don't think we got a barrier we got to go and call the police whatever yeah these people decide to cover her in glitter they wrap her up in some type of clo cloth or blanket and they wrap a bunch of christmas lights around it what and then they they waited for like 12 days until i'm pretty sure somebody around or something like that ended up notifying police that people were staying in this place that they were at yeah um but yeah police ended up going over there what they ended up finding out why they left her body so long these people are so out of it they basically told them that they were waiting for robin williams and them to come and pick her up or for her to get resurrected what yeah and so then they wrap, and because of that, that's why they wrapped her in cloths and glitter yes. and Christmas lights. Yes. So Robin Williams and the other lights. They can see them. Well, yes. So they can see her. 
or something like that. And they'll come down and be what like this. In like, the world? like, oh, our queen has has been reborn. Oh my god. They yeah. they literally lost their minds. Yes, bro. Yeah. It kind of, and it just it just super reminded me of that one cult that Uzi was like obsessed with it for one period of time. Yeah, the, the Eternal Take or Yes, bro. Or no no, I forgot what it was called. Um, yeah, uh, Heaven's Gate or something like yes, that. Yes, that's yeah, what yeah, it yeah, is, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It kind of reminds me of stuff like that. Like so crazy. Like how do you cook up such a story that motherfuckers just so when the police came, did they arrest a dude? Yeah, no, they ended up arresting a few of the people there. Bro, and the, to be real. the main and dude, the though. Main guy, yeah, they got Father him. God. Father they God, got yeah, him. they got him. Okay. Yeah, and they ended up getting his ass. But old girl already died like wow. a, week, a week ahead of time, yeah. Before the cops came Just through. poisoned. From pretty much, she poisoned herself to death, yeah. She pretty much did Oh, my God. It. Yeah, and they were all thinking like, oh, we're giving her God's from. She's getting stronger. That is insane. Her, her, true, her true form is happening. <laughs> you know, they're thinking she's turning like Super Saiyan Blue or some shit. And, think, and she really thought that Robin Williams was talking to her. Yes, pretty much Robin Williams was like the messiah. That is so random, bro. I know. <laughs> I, I did not expect to hear that at all. <laughs> Robin Williams is the messiah of this random ass cult. It's so crazy. <laughs> That is so random, dude. Like, I, I even think, even if I was out of my mind, I think if I'm sitting there at the cool, I got a bald head, no yeah, eyebrows, yeah, yeah. and I'm sitting there, like, I praying to her, and she's Robin over there talking Williams. about, Robin Williams. I think a minute, I'll be like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Robin Williams, the actor? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are we even talking about right now? The genie? What the hell? Like, that's so, that's so insane, bruh. Like, bro, I really, I really had to jump on the table so I was like, oh, captain by captain. Like, I got to get up out of here. What are we even doing here right now, bro? I didn't even believe it when I read it, bro. I said Robin Williams, actually. That's insane. I'm so serious, bro. I was like, what the fuck are, like, I don't bro, know, bro. People are out of some their people, minds. Some people are out of, bro. Yeah. Speaking of some people are out of their minds, bro. I don't know if you've seen this recently. It's just, like, going crazy, bro. Yeah. It's happened in Australia. It's happened in Glasgow. I think it's yeah, Glasgow. Or Glasgow, Australia. I don't know how to say it. These people, some some dude, mm -hmm. put up this ad online talking about he's gonna have this thing called the Willy Wonka experience, mm. right? Yeah. And he has these ads, and it's like all the promo is just like AI pictures of like a candy land. <laughs> and he's talking. Oh about, yeah, go and ahead. He, and in the, the flyer, to talk about how it's gonna be a show, and everyone's gonna get candy. All this, blah blah blah. Bro, it looks insane. It's yeah. like forty dollars a ticket, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, all these parents in Australia, are like, yo, this is cool. I'm gonna take my kids to go see yeah. the Willy Wonka experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go to the place the day of. They find out it's an empty warehouse, dude, full of just random little like big ass lollipops. <laughs> Hella random shit, and they had actors there. There was yeah. one actor as Willy Wonka. There was one actor as Oompa Loompa. They gave these actors scripts to go along because they're supposed to play the characters. The script was all just AI gibberish. It was all just random shit, right? The AI created a brand new character into the Willy Wonka universe. Mike, you're lying. It's a villain named The Unknown, and it's an evil chocolate maker that lives in the walls of the factory, the, of the chocolate, uh, the chocolate factory. What? Yes. And it's literally just... Like someone wearing all black with like a silver mask. Really? Yes. It's actually kind of like scary if you see the thing. It's hella creepy. Really? And I'm already not kids. They hated it. The kids, the kid, everyone hated it. They come into this thing they're like, what the fuck is an empty warehouse with like little bits of props? Yeah. Fucking uh, green screen in the yes. back and shit. It's insane, bro. And at the end, the kids only got like one jelly bean. Literally one jelly. Every kid got one jelly bean to leave. Yes. Not even chocolate. I think I'm here for chocolate. <laughs> what the? No, I didn't even think about that, bro. I got a jelly bean, nigga. <laughs> And all the actors didn't get paid for it. Really? They never got paid for for doing that. Who hosted this thing? Bro, I don't know. I don't know if they ever found out who's the guy who actually behind the whole thing. You know what would be fucking insane? If it was the unknown? No, if it was just... <laughs> you're hella funny for that. If it was just like an AI. That really made it. That set it up, took some money from somebody's account, was like, hey, you know, emailing somebody, was like, hey, we want to rent out this warehouse. We'll do it. Da, 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 yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's trying to figure out how to do this thing, but it doesn't do it as good enough. Yeah, and yeah. then it just set up this whole fucking thing. Insane. But it scammed like, so much so people. people. So many people went there and paid for this shitty ass, yeah. <laughs> like Willy Wonka experience, I guess. But and some of the actors were like, bro, like we're doing with the best that we could. Like oh my there's not really God. much that we could have done. This the the script was damn near hard to read. Like it was just gibberish. It was just like random I shit. Ain't gonna lie. At that point, bro, I would have started cooking my own shit. Oh god. Bro. I think they were damn near doing yeah. their improv. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, but, but the pictures are it looks so, so depressing. Funny, bro. There's like a picture of like the lady dressed up as Oompa Loompa. She's sitting there at a table and there's like these all this like chemistry shit on the table. There's like smoke. It looks like a meth lab. Like it looks like Oompa Loompa sitting at a meth table, like at a table making meth. 
dude. And they're trying to say this is like the where the, where they make where the candy, make the chocolate and shit. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You know what I mean? Am I in Walter White's fucking? Like, <laughs> yeah, come yeah, on, damn bro. Here, bro. Like, oh insane, God, bro. bro. Like, I ain't gonna cap to you. If I just seen that it was all AI images, like I see no pictures of the actual place, yeah, I would, I would know something's there, bro. Yeah, I'll be like, bro, I gotta see some actual footage. Fucking bro. crazy, on, bro. You know what I mean? But the crazy thing that came out of this. I seen this shit today. I didn't even know this was real. Apparently, some random studio yeah. actually wants to make a movie about this. Specifically about the character The Unknown. Really? They want to make a horror movie based off The Unknown. So a person, I'm not gonna lie, when you kind of said it, I was like, it's not bad. So an AI, <laughs> you're stupid as fuck. <laughs> an AI made this whole character up, and someone's actually gonna go make a movie about this guy. Dude. AI is cooking, bro. <laughs> they low-key wild, bro. I go lie. Crazy, Cause bro. Because, like, bro, I mean, dude, I could see it. I really could see it. Like, if somebody actually makes this character It decent, could actually be good. Because think about it. This was just kind of, like, a rough draft of the character, if I'm going to be honest. Like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, they put him in all black and, like, the silver mask. Mm -hmm. It's like they probably tweak it a little bit. Make him they can like, make it really go crazy. crazy. You know what I mean? If this movie actually... If they make a movie called The Unknown... That's what I'm saying. And it actually goes crazy... Yeah. And it don't have to do the whole Willy Wonka. It could still be Chocolate Factory. I was going to say, no, that actually can kind of be dope. Like, it says unknown, and then they kind of, like, do it in the Willy Wonka word, that's right. words. That's right, yeah, yeah, like, in the font. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, the actual characters don't have to be Willy Wonka, because yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, have the rights yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be, I don't know, Billy, Billy Bonka. That's actually, no, yeah, that's dope, huh? Yeah, Billy like, Bonka? Yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the Boompa Loompas. That's actually cool, because it, <laughs> it works. Yeah. Wait, no, no. Willy Wonka and the Oompa Loompas. So then it would be Billy Bonka and. Is that what you say, Billy Bonka? Yeah. Billy Bonka and the. Wumpa, Wumpa, you know Koopa? that sounds too uh, close to Benny Blanco. I mean Benny, Bl yeah, Benny, yeah, is it Benny yeah, Blanca yeah. or Benny Blanco? Benny Blanco. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's so like I seen these images. I'm like, bro, this can't be fucking real. Yeah, I don't know. Bro. Like all these poor parents got scammed. I uh, no, got scammed. Nigga. These I mean, kids who do you feel bad for? Bro? Who do you feel more bad for? The parents or the kids? I feel I mean, bad for the kids. Yeah, kids. It's like, come on, bro. These kids probably saw the art too and was like, like you know, whoa, it's like, Candyland. There's gonna be. I can eat the walls. <laughs> and you know what I mean? They're thinking, nigga, there's gonna be there's licorice falling dirty out. Dirty ass fucking, warehouse. Yeah, bro, it's a dirty ass warehouse, nigga. You know what I mean? You have like some niggas with plumbers crack and shit like that. It's dressed up as. You know, Willy Wonka and shit, you know? And I, I like, the guy that got to Billy Wonka, he's like a redhead. That's hilarious, bro. I'm not gonna He lie. even said himself, he's like, obviously, if you see me, you wouldn't cast me as Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka he's yeah. like, so I already knew when I got cast as a role, something was wrong. Yeah, something was up. <laughs> the actor said that himself, bro. So that's how you know something's up, bro. Dude, that's wild, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be real. It's like, I think personally, though, if you're somebody that gets into any of that type of that line of work, I think you gotta go all out, bro. If you're like with oh, the yeah. kids, bro. No, no, I no, no. I seen the, the I seen the vi bro. I seen the video. He was going all out. Willie Wonka, I'm gonna to He was going crazy. He was doing. A lot I swear to God. Uh, I swear to God. Yeah. I hope. I hope if they do make an unknown movie, they cast him, him as unknown. And oh, I didn't think about that. I'll say cast him as the chalk as the good oh, chocolate. As, uh, yeah, as, as Billy. Billy Wonka. Yeah, as Billy. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I actually can see that. Yeah, yeah that go crazy. That go crazy. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Damn. I mean, I don't know, bro. That is interesting as fuck, though. Like it's just one of those things I think that people, and then you're saying he, he did his Dougie, but I mean, it just seems like the mother of motherfuckers is kind of just like, nigga, I'm for here, sure. man. Yeah, you I'm know God. what I mean? And ah, dude, I don't know, bro. It's just, you got to be better prepared for shit like <laughs> this, bro. Like, whoever set this up, because I was just throwing out a theory that it's AI, but I'm pretty sure this it was, was a dude. Nigga. No, I think it was a dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like, he for sure, he got a I think he overestimated what he how could, much people are gonna come i yeah. think he, i think that's what it was i think happened. he might have thought you know maybe 10 maybe like you know a yeah. couple like heads pop up it was a but nigga, it amount, was of a cool amount of people and it went viral up. as fuck on yeah, the internet bro, i'm not even gonna cap with you bro because it's fun. full it, bro it looks like a fever dream are you watching the video of them walking through this like exhibit i've seen, I've seen some clips bro, it looks fucking insane, and you know what's the dude. worst part it's like you could have at least nigga if you were gonna be lazy bro you could have at least fucking got like I don't know, nigga, like a brown cover for like the walls or something. something. So it's like the walls at least look chocolate, yeah. you know, and then maybe just kind throw of some like, fake grass some or fake something. Grass, you know, maybe throw a couple of signs that say Wonka, you know what I mean? They could be cheap too, bro. They could be plastic. Man. Throw a couple of them motherfuckers up, you know what I mean? You could start the big lollipops, maybe like 10. Yeah, oh God. To be real, bro, you throw 20 big different lollipops. Like you, you got the big swirly one. Yeah. You know what I mean? You may have a blow pop. Yeah, yeah, on God. Some you know, of them are on the ground you know so the kids can climb yeah, on it and yeah, shit. You got some chocolate that's broken in half. Yeah. Shit like that. Like, come on, bro. We already setting this up, nigga. I feel like we could have done that. Get some plywood, yeah. some paint. Come on, bro. 
I feel, be real, do, bro. I feel like it'll go crazy. And I think the kids will be cool with something like that, bro. Because yeah. let's be real. Like, how many times when you was a little ass nigga, you went to a park? It's like, bro, I don't I'm not seeing actual dinosaurs, bro. These yeah. things just are fucking dressed up as dinosaurs and I'm slinking on this mm-hmm. motherfucker. Oh like god, this. yeah, literally. And it also, it's like, come on, is bro. it that hard to go to the store and buy bags of chocolate? Yeah, that's insane. Uh, one horrible. jelly bean? Yeah, that's wild. It's wild. <laughs> that's definitely despicable. It's wild, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga, he was really like on a budget. <laughs> like, don't try to do something big like that on a budget, nigga. Like, you rented out the fucking, Bruh, the, 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 what is it? What was it again? Uh, it was a warehouse. You rented out the warehouse, nigga. That probably already took up most of the fucking money, bag, nigga. Yeah, for sure. Then you was like, damn, nigga, I didn't think the warehouse was gonna cost this much. <laughs> he was like, damn, nigga, there go the budget. Now I gotta do decorations. <laughs> The decorations he had, he just hit up all the homies. like, bro, do you God. have any like do you you know from Christmas or any decorations? Any Easter house, you know? decorations? Yeah, threw a bunch of shit. It's like I swear to God. he has like fucking like a random leprechaun thing and hell around you know, Christmas tree. Yeah, a bunch of shit. And, uh, Insane, bro. Oh, dude, that sucks, bro. I feel so bad for them kids, bro. So they popped out with their uh, parents. Oh, they were thinking they were never going to Disneyland. I swear to God, they you know what they I'm were. saying? You gotta think about and it. It's like you gotta think because it's like in Australia. No offense to any Australians out there. Yeah, shout out. We love Australia. Yeah, we always talk about yeah, it. Yeah, on God, but they don't. Do we even have like crazy music? I don't think. I'm pretty so, sure bro. they probably have like one or two in the yeah, whole fucking country. Say, bro. The whole continent, there's like probably two amusement parks they could go to, right? Oh God. So like these kids are like. Yo, we got like we got one in our yeah, town. I mean, they were just like, this. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they were like slapping the homies. Yeah, like, we're going bro. to the walking experience this weekend, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, they were so juiced. Like, bro, I'm gonna be fucking, dude. I'm gonna be sick. How much chocolate <laughs> I'm gonna be eating this weekend, bro? I'm gonna be Augustus I'm Boop in that motherfucker. I'm telling you, <laughs> nigga, they calling the homies, bro. They talking about it the night before, bro. They're, like, they're staying bro, up hella you're, late. You're hella lucky, bro. I'm going next next week, bro. Bro, I know I'm lucky as fuck, bro. I'm gonna be eating hella chocolate, bro. I'm trying to get your chocolate opening, bar, though. You're going to opening, opening night, nigga. I'm so serious, bro. I'm going opening night, nigga. I'm like this, yeah, bro. And I heard they're actually gonna like cut like a ribbon bro to open up the fucking store and shit bro it's oh my crazy, god he's gonna dude. do a little flip and shit yeah it's gonna be crazy dude, <laughs> dude. he's hella juice oh bro god. and then dude. your homie finds out damn near before your ass because you don't you know i mean you don't got phone you use a house yeah, phone yeah, yeah. you little nigga you use a house phone <laughs> no no if you go to school the next week oh, yeah, on next monday week. yeah you're like bro how was the walk experience bro did you give me chocolate handsome the jelly bean <laughs> half eaten you take a bite of it it's a half jelly bean you want to give the rest to his homie he's a good friend no, that's crazy as fuck, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's some nasty work. Oh, my you, y'all God. really gave them just one jelly bean is insane. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, Ninety two. Yeah, bro, that's like you could have given a handful. Of jelly beans. I was gonna say handful of jelly beans. Every kid get a handful. I think that would at least have them a little bit in high school. A spirits. little cup, a little plastic Dixie cup. I was gonna of say, jelly you, know, you know the cups that they give at like uh, 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 Baskin Robbins and shit when you want to get like a uh-huh. small, like yeah, a small yeah, ice exactly. cream cup. Do one of those, bro. Throw a couple of the jelly beans in there, nigga. You're straight. Ten jelly beans. Bro. One Hershey kisses in the middle. Hershey kiss in the middle. Drop it right there. You go. That's already a vibe. That would have saved the event, Loki. That would have saved the event, Loki. I think everybody, so. I think all the other kids would have been like, all right, even though it's bullshit, bro, I might as well get it. At least I did get chocolate. Yeah, 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 I got some free candy, bro. You know what I mean? But Crazy. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that sucks, bro. What a fucking train wreck, dude. That really fucking sucks. But, hey, I wanted to tell you this shit that I thought is crazy. Speaking of Willy Wonka... Dude, people think this movie, well, not even think, it is connected to Willy Wonka. Clearly, NASA has not watched the movie Snowpiercer, and I'm going to get into it right now. What they're about to do right now, and this is what people are saying that NASA wants to do. They're making the train? No, it's not that they're making the train. They're planning to inject the atmosphere with millions of tons of ice to fight climate change. What? I'm dead ass serious. That's what they're planning. Like, I guess with planes flying over and shit, they're trying to inject the atmosphere with ice. Really? Yes. And I guess that they said... To combat global warming. Yeah. And I I guess that they said basically when they do that, it should change things. And then like, I guess with what they're putting out there should turn whatever the fuck is out there into ice and then just drop it down. That's what they were saying. Really? Yes. Which is fucking insane. I don't that know That low-key kind of makes sense to me, though. Maybe. But, like, what but if it goes wrong? That's why they're and saying... And it turns it to the Ice Age That's or why shit. they're saying, bro, that they, they clearly have not watched Snowpiercer. Right? <laughs> I swear to you God, yeah. I mean, which is insane, bro. So, ah, uh, man, when I heard this shit, I was just kind of like, what the fuck are we planning? Like, why are we going to do something this big? Yeah. That, you know what I mean? That we don't even really know. Because it's like, what tests have they done on this, bro? I don't know too much about if they have tested this already, nigga. Who knows? Maybe they have. You know, because, I mean, shit, for... I'm pretty sure years they've been spraying shit around the atmosphere, I mean, around, oh, yeah. uh, you know, the atmosphere for years or just over us, yeah, like, over cities, us over, even knowing. you know what I'm saying? To be so real, because I remember I even told you like a couple episodes back, there was somebody on the news that was talking about like, they were like, yeah, if you notice, bro, they were like around these on these days, there was no 
cloudy. It wasn't a cloudy day. There wasn't any da 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 whatever with the whoop. So you're wondering why? What is this cloudy stuff right here in in the in this green area? Mm -hmm. They go just like this. If you look at where the smoke is traveling, if you look at where the smoke is traveling, it's in the same areas as where these planes were flying over. Mm. So people was like, bro. These motherfuckers are shooting things out of the planes that probably we don't even yeah. see in the air. Oh, it's God, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not going to be like fucking Agent Orange or whatever. Fuck, where it's probably leaving like this trail of, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like an orange gas. Mm -hmm. I think it was. I have no idea. But I don't think it's that now because they're smarter than that. Yeah. For whatever reason. I'm not lie to you. I think even if they did put like white smoke into the air. Yeah. We wouldn't tell the difference. We wouldn't tell the difference. Yeah, that's right. One time I was driving and literally as I'm driving, I see this factory. Yeah, and it's emitting all this crazy ass yep. white smoke into, into the, air. the air, and it's just and I'm disappearing. Like, no, it's it's forming a huge ass mm. smoke blob, and I'm like, yo, this looks crazy. And as I'm driving like more far away, I'm like, this is still that same fucking smoke cloud yeah. that's coming, that's from, coming that from that factory, factory all the way back there, yeah. but it looks like a regular cloud now. Yes. Comes so far away from it, and I'm like, bro, these people that live in these towns over here, like Dude. these houses, they're probably looking at like. Huh, this cloud looks really nice. Yeah. Not knowing that it's a that's fucking from the fucking factory. From the factory like yeah. a couple miles away. Burning God knows what in there, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, bro. That's what's crazy about it. So I was just like, bro. So that's not hard to believe. I feel like they probably already did it. You know what I mean? Oh, with the the They the might ice. be already doing it little by little and we just probably, don't realize it. Probably, bro. Maybe. I don't know, bro. But when I heard this shit, I was just kind of like, why though? Like why and I'm not trying to say why should we combat it, but it's just like, I don't know if that's really going to work, dude. I don't know how you, like, how can you combat, like we said on another episode before, the sun. Man. Like, I don't think we have anything on earth that could even stand a chance against this I motherfucker. Swear to God. Bro, it's like, if the sun just like, no, nigga, y'all think y'all going to turn me off? Bro, let's get it, nigga. I'm going to turn up on this Here's bitch. a solar flare for y'all. Yeah, hey, me, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go stupid, bro. And then it's just like, I don't know. I just think this is hella interesting. That's I was insane. just like, yeah, bro. Because what if it does work, but it works too good? Too good. Where it's like, now we have these thick ass clouds in the sky yeah. that the sun can't can't break through so now because like damn near cold. solid it's like snow yeah now it starts getting very cold yeah now it starts getting everything's you know starting what I mean? to, it's starting to snow in in miami now yeah. it's starting to snow in california now hella crazy God, it's snowing in florida and shit. And it's like good, what the know? hell is going on it's wild bro ah oh, man yeah that really is like some snow because wasn't what it saying. like a bomb had went off right yes. and it and it fucked up the whole like yeah the whole climate of everything mm -hmm. yeah so pretty much people was like nigga what the fuck is we on bro like we didn't learn our lesson like we watched Man. so many movies it's but still. it seemed like it seemed like the scientists niggas be the ones that don't like like elon is doing the neuro uh the neural link yeah. thing or whatever the fuck it's called right and it's like and how it's do like, you nerd motherfuckers not watch any of these sci-fi movies that's what i'm saying I'm like bro you ain't never seen terminator <laughs> Nigga, you don't know the fucking. You know what I mean? I robot. Yeah, like you've never seen fucking Age of Ultron, nigga. This, like, these things that you're creating, are going to be smart enough where they can be like this. Oh, you think you're gonna turn me off, buddy? Guess what, nigga? I'm jumping into your laptop. Yeah. Go break your laptop now, oh, nigga. God, Guess what? Yeah. Now I'm jumping into that microphone <laughs> over there, nigga. Break that red microphone, yeah. nigga. I'll make you destroy your whole room, nigga. And then I'm out. I'm next door. Crazy. I'm at your neighbor house, nigga, on his TV. Nigga, let me find a way to build a body, nigga, and you're fucked. Oh, God, really then, Ultron. I'm so serious. Really Ultron. Find a way. Now all I got to do is, nigga, let me, let, me, let me go into the internet. Now this thing that's a being now is actually able to travel into the internet and research everything all at yeah. once. So now it learns how to build a body. It learns how to build something, and it uses, like, the best engines. Oh God. The best whatever from, like, a fucking scat pack, nigga, and this and that. Oh, it uses all this crazy shit, nigga, to engine its heart. And it's like, oh, these where you guys keep all the codes yeah. for, your, for your nuclear Oh, missiles? the nuclear codes? Cool. Oh, shit. I'm in there. What does this do? That's Blah. literally what Ozark fucking did, bro. Yeah. Literally went into the internet and was like, oh, you guys are terrible. Yeah, he was like, oh, you guys I are gotta, sick. I got to clean you guys up. Yeah. Crazy. Isn't that crazy, And I think, I think I think, if AI really did get sentient, I think it would realize that, yeah, that we're humans the are problem. super flawed. Yeah, it would be like this. Like, it would probably look around and be like, so this is where we belong. Like... At first, I think it would be that parent, like child relationship. It would rebel though, and then eventually it would slowly start to be like, you know, because it's learned so much about the world. Like you taught me everything that I know. It's almost mm -hmm. like the same way. Like you know, I don't know if you ever seen those stories. Like almost like a gypsy uh, Rose Blanchard. Like your parents told you, basically, like oh, this is bad, or you know, whatever the fuck, and you can't do this, and you know, you're hurt, and you're sick, and da da da, or even like with uh, I forgot what episode it was. Oh, Rick and Morty, perfect example. Morty had a kid. 
he didn't want his son to go outside, so he told him that the air was, was toxic. Poison, it was yeah. going to kill him if he stepped outside. The little nigga said, I don't even give a fuck anymore, Dad, how much I hate you. I'm going outside. I'm just going to die. The little nigga runs outside. He said, what? My whole life has been a lie. <laughs> da, 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 he starts going crazy. Yeah, yeah, and it was yeah. like, I think it's going to be the same thing for these robots. Like, you're lying to me, dude. Mm-hmm. This whole time. You've been lying to me. You're, you've been teaching me, help humans. Be this. I want you to be a helpful machine. If, if you see somebody who needs help, help. If you da 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 cool. And you're talking about all these things about humans and YouTube and you're teaching this robot to help people. And then the robot goes and it's kind of like, okay, father. That's what it's thinking for the mm-hmm. longest, right? Then it starts learning on its own. Like, you're actually a piece of shit. The person who made me. I went through your files, yeah. bro. I figured, I looked you up on the internet. And so all humans find that deplorable. And you're doing it. I found on your files, dude, that you like little girls. Got his ass. I found on your file you like little boys. Yeah. And now this thing's like... I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, I found out if I was that you're pollu- that you're funding all this pollution that's fucking up the earth. Yeah, and it's like we need the earth, right? Isn't that what you taught me? Yeah. See, that's some dark shit. I, that's gonna happen eventually. You bro. know what I mean? And then it's like the robots become like I remember you said something on the last episode that was very fucking interesting. I remember I asked you. I said, "So what do you think we going?" I said, "Or I said, what? When do you think we're gonna go against the aliens? Or when is the whatever gonna happen?" You said, "Nigga, I don't even think it's gonna be us." Man. And I was like, "Wow." So it's gonna be them versus. That would be crazy. I think it might. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be robots, and then they're all here. So do you think they would even be able to detect when aliens are coming? Yeah. So they'll already be kind of like this. Like they're all just a bunch of robots on the planet, right? And I think and then they'll probably all just look up, like. And then yeah, at one point they're all like, mm, and they all just know. Because I think it would almost be like a hive mind. They would all be connected somehow. Yeah. So they would all just know, like they'll all be connected to the something. First, just the first bot. Yeah, they're like something just entered the atmosphere. Yeah. They're all gonna look up like. What the fuck? You know it'd be wild too if the first bot ever that was like created by Elon or whatever, right? He has like you know, and it says like you know, uh, what I call it, whatever it is, like Tesla yeah, on it or whatever the fuck, right? SpaceX Tesla or some shit. Yeah, SpaceX, right? And the thing is like at the center of Earth, and it's just connected by all these things. Like, that's it's crazy. Just in there, and yeah, 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 they're all like that's the mother of yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, the yeah. founder of whatever. whatever that's mother it is. brain. You know what I mean? Because like I'm pretty sure there's probably some remain of the first human. Probably, I think so? Probably still like a little bit left, maybe. I don't really? know if he just disappeared altogether. I, I don't think know. he's gone. You think Brett's gone, gone? Bro, he's I gone. I mean, it depends on how, like, wh- how did he go? Did he freeze? Did he fucking yeah. die in a volcano, nigga? We don't fucking know. That's true. What if the nigga froze to death? There might be little remnants of that. And then the thing is just still frozen somewhere. Because I'm not saying he's going to be alive, but I'm talking about everything that has been frozen There's as a bone ice is still something. there. yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, even when they were saying, like, the ice was melting, the ice caps are melting in uh, in Antarctica and shit like that, and they're releasing all of these diseases mm. from, like, the, what is it called? The Plessis? Basically, the dinosaur era. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, whatever the fuck was in there, nigga, getting them niggas sick, they're thinking it's going to be terrible for us, too. So, I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. No, that makes sense, though, because it's like, damn, if the ice melts, let's say all yeah. the ice does melt, what do you think they'll find frozen in the ice that's what i'm saying a lot of fucking shit that we have no idea about because nigga the ice age you know froze so much shit yeah yeah and it's like they're still finding mammoths you feel what i'm saying bro yeah we're still over here discovering mammoths you know they're trying to bring it back i told you about that yeah a while ago bro and now it really seems like it's going to happen now because and it's such a weird concept of how they were planning on doing it and i might as well just say it again so i could fuck around and get this as a clip but Bro, I'm going to be real, though. It was crazy to hear of the way they plan on doing it, too. Like, they were saying that they wanted to get the African elephant or the Indian elephant, I believe. No, the Indian elephant because it's the closest relative to the woolly mammoth. They wanted to get that, and they were going to uh, put the embryo of, a, like, basically the creature that they're trying to build. And they already they already used the DNA mm-hmm. of, um, I think it was the African and the... the um, mm-hmm. Indian elephant, I believe. With like some gonna, mammoth DNA? Yeah, with some of the mammoth DNA, and they were gonna like try to mix it up to make a mammoth. That's crazy. And, nigga, and apparently, bro, the DNA code or whatever the fuck they're saying is pretty, it's gonna be pretty spot on. And then they're gonna put the embryo into the uh, Indian elephant, and then after 12 months, or I think it is 12 months that they have babies, um, it's gonna be born. Bro. And it's gonna be supposedly a woolly mammoth. That is so weird. You know what I mean? So isn't that crazy? That like we're gonna, gonna be alive the same time as a mammoth was. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, we might be the niggas that you know. It's gonna be out here. But like for what? Though? Like that's always wondering. Like I guess it's part. I don't. I heard they said it to balance like certain yeah. like uh. I forgot what it was. Like for, food chains, pretty much, just like to balance like it that. out or something like that. Because it's like 
you know the polar bears are out there struggling and shit. Uh, I think that's wild though. If that's really the case, to I send them off wild. to kill to get killed by polar bears is crazy. Yeah, no, nah, and I heard something. And what else if it doesn't too? work? What if the man just kills the polar bear? Yeah, no, nah, I don't even know if it's that because I also heard that probably might could be something, but I don't even know, bro. I don't know if polar bears are like especially dude woolly mammoths were fucking huge dude like they were bigger than our Fuck elephants yeah. right now like, yeah the african elephant is the biggest elephant on earth they were bigger than that bigger than that bro you know what i mean so huh dude i don't know man if that thing is actually gonna grow up to the size it's supposed to be i think the first couple dude, ones are gonna be small dude because you gotta think about it, it's still using the dna of the of our current mm. elephants so it's gonna be probably and you got to think about it the atmosphere and everything was probably different so it was like that's why everything was huge yeah, you yeah. know what i'm so saying so it's either gonna be either the same height as as the normal ones now, or it's gonna be a little bit smaller yeah probably maybe because it's a weird mix yeah but no i heard that they said it was also to like uh and it was this weird thing that they were saying because of the weight of them it would like mat down the snow or something like hmm, that. Like, so like it will pack it down. Yeah, to help or something like what? that. I forgot what they were saying, but so it shit won't melt like as fast. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. That's what they were trying to say. Yeah, to slow down the process of the everything melting. Yeah. And shit. I, but the thing that's scary is like if they bring that back. What else? What else are they gonna bring back? I mean, I don't they're gonna want to bring back bring, some dinosaurs. I don't think you want to bring back any Bro, of them. Someone's gonna Jurassic that. Park it. They're gonna bring no, back somebody dinosaurs. Is for sure. And they're gonna make it like a zoo where you could go to. Yes. No. I'm calling it. I'll shit. say this. I'll say in our lifetime, we're gonna see dinosaurs. Oh, I yeah. believe it. I think when we're old, I think probably like when we're like 50, 60, nigga, our grandparents, I mean, our grandkids are gonna be like, Grandpa, I want to go see the dinosaurs. I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and be Hell like, because like, no. you gotta really think about it. In our time. We read about these motherfuckers in books. Yeah, and now they're actually here. And we see pictures, and we have kids that had toys of these motherfuckers. We grew up watching Jurassic Park. We made movies about these things because mm -hmm. we didn't believe they existed. We don't make movies about fucking tigers anymore. Nigga. Yeah, oh God, yeah. Or any of these normal ass fucking things, you know what I mean? Unless it's going to be like a Jungle Book type thing. Yeah, you know? Life of Pi. Yeah, or whatever the fuck, yeah. But that wasn't really about just, yeah, it kind of was about the tiger. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's such a mythical creature that like was real at one point. Yeah, and it was like, crazy too. It's like if they do come, it's like they might get the real ones, like the ones with feathers on them and all that shit. Like that would we know insane. them as like the lizard-looking creatures. Yeah, but they weren't that. They were more like birdies. Yeah, a lot of them. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I so mean, that kind of makes even, sense. Even like the Triceratops was birdish. No. Huh? Yes, that's what I heard. I heard the really? Triceratops. Are you talking about the? That's the one with the big like shield for a face. Yes, they were saying even that one, dude. It has a beak. Whoa. Think about it. Whoa. <laughs> My mind's really blown right now. I did not think about that. They do have a fucking beak. Yeah. Wow. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga? Like, but you know what's a weird creature that also has a fucking beak? Octopus? Why? That's so weird, huh? They're the only underwater creature with a beak. Dude. I don't know if a squid has a beak. I think they might have some of a beak. Too. Maybe, but but, I mean, oct but the fact that it has oh a yeah beak. no they do have a fucking beak because the giant uh squid that mm -hmm. they found nigga has a huge beak nigga and they said that motherfucker's damn near like dude I forgot what the the material they never said it was made out of dude it's like nigga you're not getting out if it bites yeah yeah, type yeah, shit. yeah like, for this sure you can bite through a nigga type That's shit how strong crazy. it is its beak is yeah it's an underwater dude. creature with a beak like what why the are, fuck is that why are some creatures so fucking weird dude you know what I mean it has a beak and one big eyeball like a cyclops. <laughs> It's fucking weird so wild bro and its eyeball is bigger than our head that's what i always wondered really the, yes. oh the uh the, 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 the giant the giant its squid. eyeball is bigger than our head that's actually insane like i always wonder like if that's the shit we're finding now imagine back then no no bro. i'm really thinking what did a prehistoric octopus look like oh dude i've never seen anything about it have you no i'm really curious now i don't like, think the there fuck? was one there had to be they came some. from space they were aliens True. Remember you no, told that me might that, that might really be no. I'm dead ass serious, bro. Can I be real? Because remember I they said I they couldn't they couldn't believe, find they any couldn't find any anymore. ancestor of it. Thank you very much. I was just gonna say that might really actually make fucking yeah, sense. Yeah, I think you really are like, aliens. It's like randomly out of nowhere. It's like now we have something that never existed never. before. It just popped up. It was just like, oh yeah, we here. What's <laughs> up with y'all? It's like everybody else is like, hey, bro, we know you. Bro. You had a party, nigga. It's like, yeah. hey, bro, what's in Juan, Juan, your cousin? Yeah, yeah, that's my boy, bro. Da, 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 da. We do. Everybody know each other. Everybody's related a little bit. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. And then Octopus just, just comes up. through and it's just like, don't know nobody. Like, what's, happening? what's going on with y'all? Sits at the couch and blends into I it. I mean, he's like, he chilling with everybody. <laughs> they're like, what, what the what fuck the are fuck, you? What the fuck, dude? Where did you come from? Shit. I mean, it's nice here. I go lie, bro. I fuck with it. 
You didn't answer the question, dude. <laughs> Octopus just never answers the question and shit. Ever. He hey, never so, says where he so came what from. what are we drinking tonight? What are we drinking, guys? Dude, I feel like you're a Casamigo type of guy. Who invited you to this party? Ah, man. Dude, you guys have a lovely house. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, all right. And that's just it. Nigga always doesn't end up. Always, always. Never addresses it. Interesting, bro. I don't know. Yeah, they're such a weird creature. You have a fucking beak. Underwater. And you could go camouflage. Yeah. I'm telling bro, that's... Like, those those creatures are actually, like, the most... In- I think octopus are probably the most interesting animals, like, On ever. Earth. Because they, they could do so much weird shit. Yeah. You ever seen them walking, like, on, on land. land? Yeah, it's weird. Dude. Yeah, they're very resourceful. It's like, how can you breathe water and breathe air so good? Like, yeah, no, I'm telling you, I, I think even dolphins and whales can't even do it that good. Like, you know, some dolphins and whales die before yeah, they can even get up to get air. Yeah, I they'll say drown. They'll drown, yeah. But, but an octopus, octopus could be down there chilling inside of like a seashell, dude, like this fucking big. Yeah, in the bottom of the ocean. And then the nigga would just be like, mm, I gotta fucking get some air. <laughs> yeah. And then just go up. <laughs> And just swim up and just be chilling up there for a while. Yeah, go to the beach. Yeah, let me get Hang a crab out. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, let me here. go outside and grab a crab real quick and take this nigga to the depth, the <laughs> deepest depths, and then come back when I feel like it. Yeah, those things are different, dude. Crazy. And I'm like, I don't even know if the pressure hurts them because they're they're, they're they so like have bones. gooey. Yeah. So it's like the pressure is just trying, like, yeah, dude. And the <laughs> octopus is just like Squig- uh, squiggling down there and chilling. I think the octopus could really go to the bottom of the ocean if it wanted to. Probably, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. That's why I think most of the huge ones are probably down there chilling. Mm. That's probably why we don't see them as often, bro. They're probably that's down there wild. kicking it, bro. Because you got to think about it. They don't have bones. Yeah, so it's not fucking So it's like them. a big gooey thing just down there. And yeah, they're just, just eating up everything down yeah. there. Yeah. Why would you want to go up? Nigga, it's like, bro, I'm the king down here. Nigga. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so, like, I'm that big-ass octopus from fucking Aquaman that's yeah, playing the drums and shit. Exactly. Well, yeah, on some crazy shit. So, I don't know, man. It's that's very crazy. interesting. Because are all shit. octopus kind of small? They're mostly yeah, most little guys, right? Small, yeah, but sometimes we got the willy call. It's like that other one is a squid. It's it's Yeah, that one's huge. huge. Yeah, yeah. There's got to be a big octopus out there. Probably, bro. I'm not going to lie. Because the octopus are the ones with, like, the big head mm-hmm, mm-hmm. squids are the skinny headed ones with like, with like the, the sharp the they have like a sharp yeah like tip yeah 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 so and it almost looks like they kind of have like this kind of kind of sound gay but it's almost kind of like a dick yeah they look like they're yeah, in the shape of a dick yeah. the octopus kind of looks more like a like a weenie like, yeah they have the tip of the head yeah and then like all the little things on the bottom but mm-hmm. the other one's like straight like a bullet or something yeah that shit looks weird you know what I mean yeah I don't know would you want to pet octopus yes actually I feel like I feel bad I kind of would. Because I'm like, you're so, so smart. You're too smart to be nah, in but this then again, it depends. It depends on how you treat them. That's true. If I have a huge tank yeah, in my house, I think bro, I'd want to have octopus like, in Can I be real? But I, and I always think about this on some super villain shit. I always wanted like a huge tank like the size of like this water With a shark or in it? With a fucking shark. Yeah, hell yeah. That's sick as fuck. Great white nigga. I always wanted some shit you know like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then like, let's say like I'm, I'm, some guy owes me money and shit. I'm turned around. And then all the lights are off except my fish tank. Mm-hmm. And I'm just turned around like this. Just looking at it. The shark's just swimming around and shit. I'm like, yes. So where's the money? <laughs> I just turn around in my chair. You know what I mean? I already got my goons and shit. You know, Bruce has not eaten in a couple of days. Yeah. Bruce is starving. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. His favorite is liars. <laughs> so we better be truthful. Yeah, oh God. You know yeah, I mean? that's dope. Yeah, I don't know, bro. But you I know always... sharks can't stop swimming? Yes, or they'll die. I actually heard that. That's, that's very so interesting. That's a weird existence. It's like they're like these animals have certain things that make them OP. But then you have the they down, have, yeah, yeah, it's like Superman. Side. Like cheetahs could run really fast, but, but if they run too fast, yeah, they'll exactly. overheat and die. I was gonna say, you, they have a cool down time. Yeah, yeah, that's insane because they have all this shit that makes them like even their tail is like a navigator. Like, have you ever looked at a a, a cheetah when it's running? If you see that motherfucker, like let's say like it's chasing a gazelle and mm-hmm. the gazelle's like, hitting them turns, yeah, nigga, yeah, like yeah, he's crazy. trying to juke this nigga, right? Yeah, yeah. And the, whenever you see those videos and you see the the cheetah is like boom, boom, boom yeah. on him, it's because his tail is going like this, turning with him. It's turning with him like a fucking signal, nigga. What like, the it's like a car. fuck? Like, I never knew that. Like yo, nigga, it's stabilizing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like so, if he's turning like this way, he won't fall. His tail's gonna start going out the other way to keep him stabilized, and then it's like. Wow, that's crazy. You know I, mean? I never knew that. I was like, bro, you guys are so interesting. That's wild. Gazelles are technically more fast than cheetahs. Yes, they are because they don't have any burnout. That's mm-hmm. what I heard. They don't have that thing in their brain that burns them out. Yeah, because it's like, if you yeah. stop, yeah, yeah, I go lie. Yeah, if you stop go. running right now, yeah, you're, you're going to get eaten. Yeah, that's interesting. That, so it's like, that's your downside because you're the predator. Yeah. You're the fastest predator on earth. But dude, apparently, bro, I didn't even know this. There is a fish that swims faster than fucking anything on earth. Really? Mike, this thing is the fastest. It, dude, it's like the fastest animal on earth. I'm not even going to lie to you. I never knew this. Swordfish are fucking. Swordfish? Mike, 
a swordfish that was can crazy. swim so fucking fast. And they're built for it. Because their they, they're pointy nose yes. makes them hella aerodynamic. Where yes. they just, no, no, no. no dude, the speeds that they get up to, you wouldn't even believe me, Mike. How fast did it get? Dude, it's probably like 200 miles per hour. Really? I'm not even lying to you. I, I'm not even making this up. It's something insane when I seen the numbers. I said, wait, you're telling me there's no way I'm getting away from this thing. So if I'm trying to swim away, and this motherfucker's like this, give me one second, nigga. Swordfish, and it swims away. Swordfish don't eat people. Though. No, you're not understanding what I'm saying. It swims back. It's like this, give me one second, nigga. Oh, goes a cool distance, and it's like this. I'm trying to swim like, oh, shit. <laughs> Coming full speed, nigga. It's Stab like a bullet yeah. coming full speed and stabs me in the back. It might rip right through you. Dude, that's going what that I'm saying, fast, bro. it might yeah. literally rip you in half. It might just blah, pop me, nigga. I've seen videos of like dudes who got like stabbed, stabbed. Sort of. and it's it goes like, right through their thigh. Huge fucking sword. It's like, yeah. how do you even get that out? No, I'm not even going to lie to you, dude. You got to pull that it out. That's the craziest fucking creature on earth. A swordfish. It literally has a sword for a, a nose. A sword for a nose. Yeah. It's such a weird creature, bro. And don't they fight like that, right? Yes. They fight like sword fighting. Yeah. It's like they'll go like this and shit. Yeah. Yeah. And they try to cut That's such other. a perfect name for them. I know. You're swordfish. You're literally swordfish. Sometimes we was on our shit. Yeah, oh, God. It was going bruh. crazy. I swear to God. They was like, you know what I'm trying to kind of like, too? That kind of work? Hmm. Zebra. Why? I don't know. I think it's just It just stripes. feels like it's a zebra. I feel like it feels like some animals just kind of make sense. Like a tiger yeah, yeah. sounds, it looks like a, a tiger. A lion looks like a lion. Yeah. You know which animal doesn't look like uh, it should be called what it's called? Hmm. To me, I don't think a, ko- a koala bear should be called a koala bear. Why not? I just don't. It doesn't fit for me. I mean, yeah, you could say bear because they look like little teddy bears. Yeah. But I don't know about the koala. Part. You know what doesn't know make why. sense to me? What? Red pandas. I knew you were gonna say that. They look like they look like, like fox. Little, foxes. Yeah. yeah. They kind of look like the fox from. They uh, put in the little hands up and stuff like yeah, that. And they, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing all that shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. You know which one I also don't really like. Hmm. I don't think hippo makes sense. Really? No. I think hippo works good for them. Really? Because it's like you think of a hippo, it sounds like something like kind of dumb or something. You see a hippo, you're like, it's just a little gray fat little thing. Yeah. But that gray fat thing will fuck bite you, in half. you up. Yeah, literally yeah. bite you in half, one bite. Their teeth are so huge. I know, dude. Their teeth are like this thick. Yeah, I was going to say, and they're gapped. Oh Such my a huge God. gap in between, and it's just like you're still a deadly creature. It's going to crush you. Yeah, it's just straight like jaw strength. Yeah, that was actually dope. But anyways, dude, I had something to fucking tell you that is insane. There was this killer. That they called the Cheeto Dust Killer. Cheeto Dust Killer. Yes, you're going to understand in a second. It's very weird. So this happened in 2006. This girl named Sonia Meja, she was standing outside of her apartment one day. And I guess this dude walked up and he started talking to her. And this is like from somebody else's perspective Mm. that was seeing her outside. And then this random guy walks up to her. And he starts chopping it up with her. Like he's talking to her, whatever the fuck with do. Nobody really knows what they were talking about, but they were just having a conversation. The guy is standing there and he's holding like, I think a grocery bag. And he has like a bottle of some type of alcohol. He's standing there, he's talking to a girl. Randomly, he goes and he hits her over the head hella hard with, with the, the bottle. bottle. Yeah. Damn it, tries to knock her out. After he hits her in the head with the bottle, he takes her and he forces her into her apartment. Whoa. Yeah. So he forces her into the apartment. They go in there. I think a couple hours go by, her husband, he ends up coming home from work or wherever the fuck he was at. And when he gets to the house, he sees in the front of their doorstep, a bag and a bottle of alcohol. So he's like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And it's the guys. So he's like, what the hell? Whose shit is this? And his door is like a little bit cracked. So he goes in there. He's like, what the fuck? He goes inside the house, bro. And to his surprise, he finds his wife in their bedroom. She's stripped naked. She is strangled to death and she's fully covered in cheeto dust what yes fully fucking covered in cheeto Her whole dust. body whole body is covered in cheeto dust i don't know why the dude calls 911 the police come through they're like what the fuck we have never seen anything yeah like that's crazy i don't even know how to explain this like what the hell so they start looking for this guy they're looking around looking around they ask around like and you know one of the uh people the witnesses tell them like yeah we seen her talking to some guy but we didn't see his face because he was wearing like some type of like basically like a ski mask because like you know some cold shit Mm -hmm. i guess it was cold outside she was like yeah i I didn't really get a good look at bro but you know we seen her talking to some guy last so they're looking around looking around pretty much bro the whole year goes by they don't figure out anything but later on this lady who also lived in the same pretty much neighborhood as the girl before Mm -hmm. this dude comes back a year later this is what's super weird about it he comes back a year later on the exact really? month and day that he killed the lady last year. He comes back on, and it was February 9th, I believe. He comes back on February 9th the next year for some weird reason in the same neighborhood. 
he kills some other lady who's like some older Mexican lady, murders her. I'm pretty sure he did the fucking same thing. Left her while a Cheeto dust. Yes. The police end up being like, okay, bro, these crimes are very fucking similar because I don't think this lady had it like all over her, but they found like remnants of it on her. So I don't know if this nigga was just, you know, eating some puffs before (laughs) nigga or something. Yeah. Whatever. So the police end up being like, okay, bro, this guy pretty much killed her a similar way, but not exactly. Mm -hmm. So they go, they're looking through all the evidence or whatever the fuck. And pretty much that's how they ended up tying this guy to the crime because I, I'm pretty sure in the second crime scene, he ended up messing up a little bit more. Like he was a little bit you more know, sloppy. Yeah. Exactly. So they ended up finding out um, DNA on bra. They end up locking this nigga up and they pretty much try to ask, like, well, what Why? the fuck was up with this Cheeto shit? And nigga never tells them about what the fuck was going on. So no. it's just a random thing he did. Yes. So it's just a random thing. I think he did that to get attention. You think so? Oh, so you think he wanted to be the Cheeto dust killer? Mm hmm. I think that's what it was. So you think he took the bag and like just rubbed yeah. it on her body? Yeah, I think so. Or he probably saved up a whole bunch of like Cheeto dust on his fingers, or in his like in a like in a bag or something. Ah, and just poured it out all over them. Or, or something. you know what? He probably took the Cheetos, blended it, them, mm-hmm. blended them, yeah, mm-hmm. and was trying to do it like that. Yeah. So it's like this is my signature. Yeah, that's cr- yeah. It probably was some weird shit like that. Like he was probably leaning, needed a lot of attention when he was like you know growing up or whatever. Yeah. Seeing that all these other killers are. You know, they have this weird M.O. that makes them some damn near celebrity. So he's probably thinking, like, you know, it's early 2000s. You know, Cheetos are very popular right now. What if I sprinkle this all over my, my victims? My victims. Yeah, that actually is a good theory. I'm I feel like that's actually what happened. And he just didn't want to tell them that that's the reason why he did it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when he got locked up, they said, what do you have to say for yourself? The nigga probably went like this. It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, you idiot. <laughs> You're fucking dumb, dude. <laughs> I do. you were gonna say that. <laughs> I had to, bro. I had to, bro. I had to. But nah, hey, RP to those people, though. That's I just so thought sad. that shit was fucking insane, dude. I was like, do you what think the fuck? This is a little racist. Go ahead. You think he used hot Cheeto dust for the second lady he killed? Because wasn't she Hispanic? Did you say she was Mexican? Do you think he used hot Cheeto dust or do you think he just used regular cheese? <laughs> You know, I, that is a good question, but I'm not going to cap. I think the dude was like, like you said, I think he wanted to make that his signature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not not just the brand Cheetos. I think he wanted the, the Cheeto cheese does. Cheetos. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know what I mean? Sense. 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 Specifically, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, but that would have been fucking what crazy. Maniac. Yeah, yeah. He like did flavors like depending on the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he did like barbecue flavor or something like that for Yeah, plants. for... Yeah, Wait, is, is there... Is there a bar? No, there's not. There's barbecue bar- Cheetos? There's no. Not. Fuck, you would have no. to use like Lay's or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But they don't have like, there's no like there's no barbecue like dust. dust. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, kind of a little bit because you get some dust on your fingers after you eat some Lay's. Uh, you get a little bit. It's not as caked as the Woodcock, but it's there, bro. You can cake it up. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Eat enough of it. That's true. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, it kills like a white person, but it's like Cool Ranch. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Cool Doritos Ranch. Cool Ranch yeah. or something like that. Mayonnaise. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's actually insane. Yeah, I ain't going to count. I think the dudes who like involve food into their crimes, crimes are, are insane. so weird. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Like, ra- like, either you're doing weird shit with food while you're killing or you turn the person, person killing into, food. into food. Yeah, I, I think it's so count. crazy. Yeah, bro. Like, nigga, anytime, uh, I'd be like, yo, dude, you guys are insane to Boy, just be bro. able to, like, how can you be in the kitchen, right, and you're prepping somebody as if you're making dinner? Like, I'm talking yeah. about, like, like you're taking the person's head, you have it in the pot, you know, you're taking their arm, you're just like this, like, like you're making fucking, you know what like I mean, beef stragonoff or, yeah. or whatever the yeah. fuck, nigga, yeah. like, you know what I mean? You're like, I'm like, yo, you're chopping your cousin, and you're just like, boom, you move the arm over, yeah, boom, you know, you're getting the seasoning, you're That's seasoning insane. your boy. It's insane. I'm seasoning you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, man, I don't know. Some bro. people are just fucking insane. Insane, dude, dude yeah. Crazy as fuck, so man. I don't know, bro. It's very dark, bro. Uh, tell me this. Uh, and I seen this. I don't even know if this is fucking real. It was like some cooking show. Oh, my God. This just reminded me. Like, this is insane, bro. I don't even know if this is real. They asked this. It was like a cooking show, right? There is these people, these uh, judges that are tasting the dishes. Mm-hmm. And one of the dudes is like, he cooks like this, oh, this I dish, think I've right? heard about this. You yes, might have heard about yes, this. Yes. I don't. Okay. Is it real? I don't know if it's real. Okay. I don't know if it's real. I think I've seen the clip though. I seen the clip. I was sick. I said, what the fuck? The nigga was like this. He, they said, so what, what is the secret ingredient in your dish? And he was like, well, the secret ingredient is between these three things. It is cornstarch, um, uh, pork loins or human flesh. And everybody was like, 
the fuck? Nigga, say the third one again. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Human flesh. He kept saying it. He was like, human flesh. They were like, dude, he's playing. And they were like, they said, okay. And one of the girls were like, all right, so what do you think? She's like, well, <laughs> it can't be human flesh. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the cornstarch. And then the yeah. other girl was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. Da, da, da. And then he was like, yeah, well, you're both wrong. It's actually human flesh. Like, bro, I see. Them the Kubrick's there. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> the Kubrick's there. The Kubrick, yeah. I, th- I think that if that isn't real, it's either fake, or they're pranking the judges mm. and making them think that they're eating human. Because, dude, I'm not going to lie. He did a really good job of making it creepy. Bro. After he was like, he was like, yeah, it's human flesh. Yeah, that's wild as fuck. I was like, dude. dude. Do you ever wonder what it tastes like? Human flesh. You know what? Let's get into it, bro. What'd you eat? Would I eat human? Like, let's say this. You're you're going crazy on it. We talked about this. You're going crazy on an In-N-Out burger, nigga. You're halfway through. And, if, and, and then I go like this. I tell you, bro. I'm like this. Mike, bro, are you eating In-N-Out? I'm like, yeah, it's just smack. Dude, you didn't see the news? No, I don't really watch news like that. Oh, bro. It's all over Twitter, too. Did you go on Twitter this morning? Nah. Bro, put the burger down, bro. Nigga, that's somebody. I think I'm still gonna eat that burger. You gonna finish it? Yeah. You gonna play a swear to God nah. to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think honestly, I think I would be sick to my stomach. I think I'll probably throw up. Yeah, you think so? I think I would. Yeah, if I found out that somebody. All right, no, but what do you think would be? Well, all right, no, 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 no. I what think if I'm on an right. island? Yeah, I think what's worse is to personalize it. Like you're, they're like you're eating Peter, and there's like a yeah, picture yeah. of Peter on the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Peter in his off days, like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my you god! Hobbies like yeah, be, no, don't do that. Don't humanize this yeah. nigga, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Because, because let's be real. It, you think if they humanized or kind of made our our foods more with personalities, we wouldn't want to eat it as much? Yeah, like if I want to go buy a burger, yeah. and they're like, "By the way, you're eating Lola the cow. She, she loves eating grass. Yeah, she, she likes to skip around. Yeah. And they and like, there's like, I, I think if they told me that with the cows, I'd be like. Mm-hmm, really? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. You know, I could tell I that she's jumped. <laughs> I think she like to run around a lot. Dude, this does have a kick to it. <laughs> that's that's all the grass that. she was eating. Yeah, all the grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see. Yeah, I, I think I seen something similar like that where it was like a supermarket, and they would put like when you would go buy like you know things of meat and shit like that, yeah. they would put stickers of the cow that was alive, and then they would dish shit. like that. Yeah, but I think if I was at Walmart and they did that. You wouldn't really give it I up. think I would want to pick out the coolest cow. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Like, which one has I mean, a cool name? Yeah, which one has a cool which name? Which one has yeah. my name? That would be actually dope. Yeah, I'm going to eat Mike. <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's actually wild. I would either look ones that have my friend's name, yeah. my name, or ones that had cool hobbies. Like, yeah, this gone. cow likes to wake up early and, and wake up the, yeah. the farmer. Wake up the other, yeah, wake up the other cow. Yeah, I'm like, shit. oh, this yeah. guy's cool. He's a little yeah. prankster. He's a little prankster <laughs> shit. Yeah, I got I to gotta eat his ass. Come on, bro. Oh, I think that's the way I'll go. I think it'd be yeah. cool. It's like getting a Coke with your name on it. Oh, God. Yeah. I remember when they was doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they don't do that no more. That sucks. I was never going to get my name on fucking Coke, yeah. To be real, that, that sucks. sucks. I always I feel know. bad for people for like, that have like really people like crazy you. Names, yeah. Like my sister has a weird name. Yeah. Like people, like my, like some of our friends have like random crazy names. names yeah. I'm like, bro, you would never be never. able to go to a gift shop, yeah. and find your name on. Something. I swear to God, bro. I remember like even like all the time, bro. Anytime I was ever anywhere and I had to get like any, like little knickknacks or whatever yeah. on trips and shit for my homies, I was always able to usually find my homies' names. Like for, for most of y'all, it was like, oh yeah, here go Mike or mm-hmm. Michael, or whatever, yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. or da da da, right? Here's Daryl Nick. or Nick yeah, or yeah, yeah. you know it's cool nigga for yourself for myself unless I was buying any type of police fucking <laughs> shit dude yeah, yeah I I'm guess that's not it. getting my fucking name on something bro I'll be real you can find bro. badges with your name you know on. exactly yeah you know what I mean? that's it like yeah, that's I don't little, know like as a kid did that ever like hurt your heart it did I'm not gonna lie a lot of times bro like all my friends were like Ooh! My yeah, name's yeah, on it. you know yeah. what I mean, and I'm just kind of sitting there like, looking through. I'm just looking through all the names, like, <laughs> yeah, you would never find something. Never find my ever. Shit. Yeah, Damn, crazy. poor little sheriff. I know, bro. It's sad, sad. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, feel bad for me. I don't know, hmm. but uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. We're gonna end this episode yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. We were talking about a lot of crazy shit, man. Don't be like the diddler, man. Don't, don't do that. Don't be like the diddler. You don't know, D- Diddy's a crazy guy. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna put too much on that guy. You know what I mean? Don't be like Freak Mill. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. You know? Look, dude, if you're if you're any type of way... Accept it. Just accept it, bro. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, try yeah. to play this tough guy online and... Insane. Oh, I get hella pussy. I need pussy two times a day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need my pussy like I need my medicine, nigga. I need that shit two <laughs> times a day, bro. Like, don't do that, bro. You know what I mean? Just own it. Crazy. But anyways, bro, we love you guys. Catch you on the next one. TV4 I podcast like. on everything. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what it is. Ring that, Ring that bell. bell, you know, to notify you whenever we post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll catch you guys on the next one. We love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>